Previously on The Life of JT. Yes. What is up, JT Squat? It is March 27th, Sunday. Crazy week of work. Really busy at work towards the end of the week. Amazon, you know. But we got a lot of stuff to do this weekend because next weekend is my 40th birthday. And look, I know, still haven't built the computer desk. But we got to get a smog test done for mom's car. Because if you guys didn't know, living in Las Vegas, every year you have to get a smog test before you can get registration and new stickers for your plates. Unfortunately. So we got to get that done. I have a little free play at the casino. I've been missing all my fucking parlays by one fucking game. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to go to the casino and place a bet on some underdogs. I probably won't hit. But if I do hit, that'd be sweet. If I don't, oh well. It's just for fun. And we're going to make some pork chops in the crock pot. Because by the weekly vlogs, you probably didn't notice, but you might have noticed. We cook a lot at home. I know a lot of people think living in Las Vegas, you're just, there's so many places to eat. Who has money to eat out all the time? Because everything's went up since we moved here. Rents went up a couple hundred bucks. Gas is tripled. Food's tripled. Like, it's really expensive to move to Las Vegas. Like, I know a lot of people out there want to move to Las Vegas. And to be honest, this is not the time to move to Las Vegas. Like, everything's expensive. It's almost like California prices. Um, they're talking about, like, a state sales tax and all kinds of stuff. So, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on moving to Las Vegas during this time. We came to Rampart. I used my $5 free play, didn't hit anything. Put in 80 bucks, lost that course. I took 100 out of the ATM. I was like, I'm just gonna take 100 out. Whatever happens, happens. And check that out, you guys seen it. Original Buffalo, I stopped playing Buffalo a while back just because it wasn't paying anything. Now we're up $300 here. That's insane. We're gonna quit here in a second. We're not gonna press our luck. And I have a nice big sports bet. So if St. Peter's and Miami pulls off the win, it's like 500. We found this coin. I don't know if you guys are superstitious, but I went to the bank to get money out of the ATM and I found this coin. It was on heads. It was a penny on heads laying on the ground. And we've been putting it on the machine and holy cow. So that's gonna go towards the birthday fun next week. But we're gonna go home here in a second. Start the pork chops. We need to grab some lunch real quick. Put up the computer desk. We need to go get a smog test for mom if we can today, if not tomorrow. But it might be a two-day vlog that you guys are coming with. end of that we got up to like 480 we're trying to get to 500 never happened cashed out at 430 up 250 dollars at rampart minus the atm fee because you got to pay like five dollars for the atm fee and then 250 but not bad 430 dollars we got to grab some lunch we got to get the pork chops in the crock pot they don't take that long and we got a sports bet miami and st peter's both upsets for $500 on a $35 bet. So let's go home, let's get all this stuff done. I gotta pee, but we ordered drinks and we kind of dipped out on the cocktail waitress because she was taking too long.
the next day. It is March 28th, Monday now. Like I said, it's gonna be a two-day vlog. Today we have more exciting things going on. Well, not terribly exciting, but we do have to get the car washed, which hopefully we can get that done. We've been putting that off for quite a while. We gotta get a smog test. We have to get groceries. We might go see a movie later. Let's get going. All right, so we made a little pit stop at Starbucks. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but I wanted a coffee this morning. Mom drinks a lot of coffee, but uh, I told her, I was like, let's just get coffees to go, because usually she makes a pot of coffee in the morning. But we grabbed some Carl's Jr. I know I'll get shit in the comments. Oh, you guys eat so unhealthy, or whatever. But it's quick, it's easy. I had to buy one, get one free coupon. I had to go do some laundry. Probably get the smog test. Maybe go to a movie. This video is sponsored by Plastic Wrap. Get your plastic wrap today. Just got done with the laundry. <laughs> That's funny, that car. I don't know what was going on with that car, but looked like it got completely totaled. The dude just put plastic wrap around the whole car, and he was like a correction officer, which was kind of strange. But anyways, we're gonna go get mom's registration in little tags, and then we gotta get a smog test somewhere, and I'm gonna get a haircut. I'm just gonna get a basic haircut this time at Great Clips, and then I'm gonna go to this new barber shop next week when it's my birthday. But I need a haircut. Look at this. This mop is is uh, needing a cup bad. But let's go. Let's go get this shit done. Past admissions, which we knew we would. We've spent thousands of dollars on this car to fix everything that's possibly wrong with it or could go wrong with it but uh mom's out throwing up her hands up there's another car trying to come in and go out i don't know what they're doing they're not moving or anything they're in two lanes so i can't go around to get out yep. so we're trying to get out of here we're going to go to out back to albertson's we tried to get the registration but they said must pass smog tests which we did that now we got the paper with the barcode and everything so we should be good on that that way and now we're gonna go get the little stickers and we should be registered for the car. Mom's gotta call her car insurance here in a second too. And I'm gonna try to get my haircut. Like I said, I'm gonna get a basic haircut and then next weekend I'll get one at the nice barber shop. Got the haircut, so it looks all right. It's not the greatest haircut I've ever had. It's not the worst, so that's always a good thing. Like I said, next weekend I'm gonna go to the actual barber and get my haircut there. But we got a new radiator cap for mom's car. She's been having problems with the radiator fluid boiling. So in the comments, if you know exactly what that is, we've taken it to two mechanics. A lot of people saying there's getting air inside the radiator lines. So they said a new cap could probably fix the problem, hopefully. It's never really overheated, but it still bubbles when you drive a certain distance. And then we got a new wiper blade. We're gonna go get some groceries and maybe try to find a place to wash the car. I don't know, I only got like $100 bills on me. Well, I do have a couple 20s now, so we'll see what we could find, possibly get the car washed. I know I need to put the computer desk together. I've been talking about that for about a month. Still haven't done that. So that's kind of the plan today. Maybe grab some lunch on the way back home. But let's go grab some groceries. $61 later at the grocery store. Man, everything's just skyrocketing in price. I don't know what's going on anymore. I know a lot of people want to move to Las Vegas. Oh, look at this guy. He just runs out right in the middle of the road. I don't know what's going on with these people. I don't know what's going on, but the one car pulled out right in front of us. We're, we're, we are gonna get a dash cam. I know we're getting a dash cam here soon in the next couple weeks. See if we can turn. It's hard to even get through a parking lot here without getting cream. Mom already got hit on the driver's side 
a little while back at by some lady at Albertsons at the parking lot. And then you got this guy. Hey, go ahead, buddy. We don't have a stop sign, so I don't know why we're the ones stopping. But anyways, it's just treacherous here. luck out huh mom today is national car wash day where car washes are a dollar go ahead and move up mom at the wow car wash at the wow car wash off of lake mead so we just paid a dollar for a car wash so let's get this car washed we'll take you guys with What a crazy day. Got a lot of stuff accomplished. Spent a lot of money in the last few days. I think I spent almost $3,000 on bills, groceries, a um, bunch of other stuff that I needed. But let's try to tackle this computer desk. I'm gonna put it in the corner, facing that way. So, kinda underneath the TV. Hopefully it fits good. Let's put this together. We'll do a little time lapse. Try to get this office set up. of the vlog thank you guys for watching my videos hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the content we started doing a time lapse of the computer desk and it took so freaking long it took like eight hours so you guys seen the finished product for getting the computer desk together and the office together love you guys thank you for watching stay tuned weekly vlogs every single week and by birthday next weekend we got a special room booked so stay tuned for that also subscribe to sin city food reviews we're going to be busting out a lot of food reviews this summer love you guys see you later next time on the life of jt